As you can see, I've got a piece of vinyl applied to my Wrap You Easy, and it's 3M's 2080 series with the cap pulled off. Uh, so I've got it applied to the Wrap You Easy already with a little bit of slack in the middle. Uh, and when I'm ready, I then heat the vinyl up nice and soft. I'm using a torch here, and if you don't have a torch, use a heat gun. Uh, and I'll heat it until it looks a little bit liquidy but smooth. Just be careful not to burn the vinyl. I then carefully position the vinyl at my anchor point, which in this case is the flat side of the mirror cap facing the car. And then once I've got my vinyl anchored in place, and I know that when I do apply the vinyl with the Wrap You Easy, it will cover the entire mirror, I then start to lever the Wrap You Easy over the mirror cap and shooting for putting the middle of the vinyl inside the Wrap You Easy over the high point ridge of the mirror cap. Uh, add a little bit of heat if needed during this process as you saw me do in the video. Once you've got the vinyl over the entire mirror cap, I like to lock in the vinyl at the high point and squeegee just a little bit from that high point towards the edges all the way around until the, the vinyl is anchored well. And then once I have that, I like to cut away the excess vinyl from the Wrap You Easy. I don't like to pull the vinyl off of the Wrap You Easy directly once I have the mirror cap partly laid down. Once I have that done, I then like to squeegee the flatter, broader areas towards it of the mirror cap as you see me doing in the video towards the edges and I'll stop a little bit away from the edges so that I can then lift up the vinyl and use heat to shrink it down which I'll do next. Now to shrink the vinyl down you'll see that I'm lifting up sections of the vinyl and then hitting it with heat and you may see it start to shrink and as you do that uh, I like to drop the vinyl down into place uh, like you see me doing in the video and what this does is it ensures there's no tension at the edges so your vinyl won't pull back later on. It's kind of like uh, dropping or laying down a blanket. Be sure not to pull on the vinyl as you're doing this. You're just simply lifting the vinyl up. You heat it so it shrinks and then you drop it down into place as it shrinks. Do this all the way around and squeegee to seal the vinyl down as you go along and there may be areas where you might have to adjust or stretch the vinyl a bit if the initial shrinking didn't lay down as you want. Uh, so you may have to lightly stretch uh, and, and contortion the vinyl a little bit to however you want. Uh, but be sure to lift it back up a little bit towards the edges and then heat it to shrink it back down so that there's no tension. Now the front bottom corner was an area where I had to do this particular process uh, as you saw in the video because that corner point went down a little further and so I had to pick it up, stretch it a little bit more, um, and then essentially do the same process. When you have all your sides squeegeed down, I like to hit everything along the edges in particular with heat. Uh, and then use the hard edge on my squeegee and micro squeegee to ensure all my edges are down well and they're defined for cutting uh, as you see me do on the front side. When you have your side set you can start to trim out. Now starting with the front of the mirror cap there are uh, defined edges where the mirror cap meets the textured plastic of the mirror mount as well as for the signal light and so use the tip of your knife blade to float in between that gap using the mirror edges as your guide for your knife. Make sure you're uh, snap a new blade if you need to on your utility knife before getting it started. Uh, that way the blade cuts nice and easily and you don't have to force it or anything like that. Once you've finished your cuts, carefully peel away the excess vinyl and seal the edges you just cut. And with the front side done, I now tackle the inside face of the mirror cap. Here again, the same process. I make adjustments to the vinyl and ensure that I heat afterwards to make sure the vinyl shrinks back to eliminate any tension in the vinyl, particularly at the edges. Once I have everything down and heated, I use my squeegee and micro squeegee to define my edges and then trim out the vinyl using the cap as my guide. Now it's time to tackle the top and back edge of the mirror cap. Here you can see me lifting up the edges a bit and heating the vinyl again. What I'm doing here is last minute getting out any last shrinkage in the vinyl and making sure there's no tension at the edges of the mirror cap. And when I'm confident that's true, I then use my squeegee and hard edge to finish wrapping the vinyl around the edge of the mirror cap and then trim away the excess vinyl using the cap edges as my guide. I then peel away the excess and then I follow up by using my squeegee and micro squeegee to ensure all the edges are down and sealed well. Now the last step is basically to go over the entire mirror cap with heat and what you're doing here is using that heat to help find any bubbles or areas you may have missed laying down but also to post heat the vinyl as well. Heat is like the great equalizer as it'll tell you how well you did on your install, particularly at the edges. If you still have tension at the edges, when you hit it, you'll see it start to shrink and finger back and you know that you didn't do that process quite right or quite well and then you'll have to do it again. So guys, basically the mirror is now done. Again, just do a wipe down and heat and then enjoy your work.